properties of saturated and saturated solutions and supersaturated solutions. Solubility. Solubility, the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in a solvent. Factors that affect the rate a species dissolves. 1. Increasing temperature. 2. Steering or agitation. 3. Crashing. 2. Smaller particle size. Solubility. Many solids and gases dissolves in water. Okay, that's coke, a soda. As you increase the temperature, you can dissolve more solid. Does this work the same with gas? Not the same for gases. As you increase temperature, gas molecules of kinetic energy increase. To get gases dissolved, decrease temperature and increase pressure. That's how cold it is. Degree of saturation. First, we have saturated solution. When we say saturated solution, solvent holds as much solute as is possible at that temperature and dissolved solid remains in flask. Dissolved solute is in dynamic equilibrium with solid solute particles. Here's the example of saturated solution. You have 40 grams of sodium chloride added to 100 ml of water and then when you mix it, it forms into solution and then if there is a remaining residue or particles at the bottom, which means to say this solution is saturated. Another degree of saturate, saturation is unsaturated solution. When we say unsaturated solution, less then the maximum amount of solute for that temperature is dissolved in the solvent. Means to say, no solid remains in flask. Here's the example. When you add 30 grams of sodium chloride to 100 ml of water, and then it forms into solutions. As you notice, there is no remaining particles or solutes at the bottom of the container. So, which means to say, this solution is unsaturated solution. Next degree of saturation is supersaturated. Supersaturated solvent holds more solute than its normal possible at that temperature. So, these solutions are unstable. It forms crystallization, can often be stimulated by adding acid crystal or scratching the sides of the flask. Recrystallization is the process of dissolved solid returning to the solid state. Solution equilibrium is the physical state described by the opposing processes of the solution and recrystallization occurring at the same rate. Recrystallization basic, here's the example. An impure solid is dissolved in an appropriate hot solvent using a little volume as possible. Solution is slowly cooled, causing solid crystals of the desired solid to form and leaving impurities in the solvent. Take note, in recrystallization, it happens the solution to be slowly cooled and it forms into solid crystals. Solubility equilibrium, a dynamic equilibrium between a solute and a solvent in a saturated solution in a closed system.